Now we're going to talk about solving linear equations. Before we're going to practice solving linear equations, we're going to solve identify first the different properties of equality. So the first one is the reflexive property, which states that um, for example is 3 is equal to 3. So any number is equal to itself. So 3 is equal to 3. Next is the symmetric property. Um, 8 plus 6 is equal to 14. So therefore 14 is also equal to 8 plus 6. So you're just going to interchange them. So the next one is the transitive property. If 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 and 3 is equal to 4 minus 1, therefore and 1 plus 2 is equal to 4 minus 1. So uh, next is the addition property. 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. So kapag mag-add plus, add ka dito ng 2 at mag-add ka rin ng dito ng 2. So the result would be 1 plus 3 plus 2 is equal to 4 plus 2. The answer would be equal. So 1 plus 3 plus 2, that's 6 is equal to 6. So they are just still equal. So you could multiply this or you could add as long as what you have added here is the same as what you have what you were going to add here and the other side of the equation. The last one is the multiplication property. Multiplication property is almost the same as addition except it is multiplication. So example, so 2 times 3 is equal to 6. So 2 times 3 times if you're going to multiply 4 in both sides, so the answer should be equal. So 2 times 3, that's 6, times 4 is 24. And 6 times 4 is equals also equal to 24. So that's multiplication property. So kapag mag-times ka dito, kailangan mo rin mag-times sa kabila ng the same number. So you need that in order to solve linear equation. So first one is x minus 7 is equal to 4. So what you're going to look for here, because this is a variable, ibig sabihin hinahanap mo yung what would be the value of x so that if you're going to subtract 7 from it, the answer is 4. Anong number kapag mag-subtract ka ng 7? Yung answer is 4. So to solve that, you can have um, trial and error, but um, algebraically, this is what you're going to do. So according to the property uh, a while ago, Kapag mag-plus ka, pwede ka mag-plus dito ng kahit anong number as long as mag-add ka rin dito sa kapila ng the same number. So, x minus 7, kailangan na matira na lang dito is x. And this side is my x. And this side walang x. You could interchange them. Dito ang walang x. At dito may x, dito walang x. You, however, usually dito yung may x. Usually. So, again, your main goal is magi um um last conclusion mo dapat is x is equal to blank or wala, hindi, wala dapat 2x walang 2 sa katabi ang x except itself or kapag walang katabi ang x ibig sabihin meron niyang 1 so the numerical coefficient of this term should be only 1 so kailangan mong alisin si 7 so para maalis mo si 7 mag plus ka ng 7. Bakit mag-add ka ng 7? So that this would become 0. Negative 7 plus 7 is 0. So 4. Mag-add ka rin dito ng 7. So dito, negative 7 plus 7, that's 0. So kapag alam mo kung plus ito, so ang gagawin mo is, ang i-add mo dyan is negative 7 or mag-minus ka ng 7 para mag-0. So ito, magiging cancel. Mag-cancel mag na yan siya. So natira na lang is x is equal to 11. So, 11 minus 7 is equal to 4. To, to check that, what you're going to do is, x is equals to, x is equals to 11. This is substitu substitution property of equality. Kapag ang x is equals to 11, ibig sabihin, ang x dito, palitan mo ng 11. So, 11 minus, kopyahin mo, kopyahin, kopya, kopyahin. Ang x lang, palitan mo ng 11. So, is 11 minus 7 equal to 4? So, 11 minus 7, 4 is equal to 4. So, this is correct. Number 2. 2x is equal to 6. Again, our main goal is, kailangan na x na lang matira dito. So, almost na ito. 
kailangan lang natin alisin si 2. Paano natin maalis si 2? This, um, the property of Balago, which is multiplication property, is what we're going to use in here. So, 2x is equal to 6. Anong i-times mo dito para mawala si 2? That's the reciprocal of 2. That's 1 half. 1 half. Kung i-times ka dito, mag-times ka dito ng 1 half, kailangan mag-times ka dito, dito sa kabila ng 1 half. So, 2 times 1 half, that's magiging cancel na yan sa matira na lang si x is equal to 6 times 1 divided by 2, that's 3. Again, what you're going to multiply is the reciprocal. Talaga ba kung 2 dito, so times walang 1, 1 half. There's another process in this 2, which we're going to discuss in number 3. So, to check, x is equal to 3. So, kapihan mo yung first equation, 2x is equal to 6. So, 2, ang x, palitan mo ng 3. Ilagay mo sa parenthesis. 6 is 2 times 3. 6 equal to 6. Yes. So, this one, number 3. So, number 3, 4x plus 2 is equal to 18. So, anong number? Kapag it times plus 4, mag-add ka ng 2. Ang answer is 18. So, to solve that one, the same process in here, kailangan mong alisin si 2. So, paano mong, ang una mong alisin mo na si 2? So, 4x plus 2 is equal to 18. Paano mong maaalis si 2? Kasi kailangan na x na lang natira dito. So, what you're going to do is mag plus ka ng, mag plus ka ng negative 2. Kasi yung positive 2, Gawin mong negative 2. That's the additive inverse. So, ano yung kabalik na? Anong i-plus mo sa 2 para mag-0? That's negative 2. Kung negative 2, ang i-plus mo is positive 2. So, mag-plus ka rin ng negative 2 dito sa kabila. So, next, 4x plus 0 is equal to 18 plus negative 2. That's 16. In here, kailangan natin alisin si 4. Para maalis si 4, i-times mo ng negative Anong reciprocal pala? Reciprocal, nag-times ka rin dito ng 1 fourth. Para makancel si 4, matira na lang si x, is equal to 16 times 1, that's 16, divided by 4, that's 4. Divide ang ibig sabihin ito, 4. 16 times 1, times 4. So, to check, x should be equal to 4. 4x plus 2 is equal to 18. 4 Ang x magiging 4 plus 2 is equal to 18. 4 times 4, that's 16, plus 2 is equal to 18. Is it equal to 18? 16 plus 2, that's 18, is equal to 18. There's a shortcut in solving for this one. So, 4x plus 2 is equal to 18. As you would know, you mathematicians are sometimes lazy. So, what they do is to make shortcuts with everything. So, there's still another. Other than using the addi addition property of equality, you could use transpose. Transpose means, alam ba kung dito, your main goal dito is x is equal to blank. So, kailangan na x lang dito side. So, ibig, ibig sabihin nito, ito siya, hindi mo to siya kailangan. Kasi kailangan mo lang dito is yung my x. So, what you're going to do is ilipat mo siya sa kabila si positive 2. Ilipat mo yung mga walang x. Alam ba kung may x, may mga, var, may mga terms dito na may x. So, ilipat mo doon sa kabila. Pero ito siya, dahil wala siyang x, ilipat mo dito sa kabila. Again, dito, usually are those with x. Pag hiwalay-hiwalayin mo yung my x, sa ka walang x. This is only applicable to linear equation. So, dito, kung ilipat mo ito sa kabila, ang matira na lang in this side of equal is 4x. Nilipat mo si positive 2, magiging negative 2. Again, if you're going to transpose, transpose, what will happen is the sign would become it's opposite. So, positive 2 magiging negative 2. Kapag negative 2 ito siya, magiging positive 2. But again, this is positive 2, it will become negative 2. 18. 
you're not just going to simply write 18 so magiging 280 na so the sign of this one is positive so lagyan mo ng plus kung negative to magiging negative 18 or minus 18 so ang mangyari 4x is equals to negative 2 plus 18 that's 16 next kailangan mo alisin si 4 para mat x na lang matira so what you're going to do is simply like this divide both sides Divide both sides by anong katabi ni x? Ang katabi ni x is 4. So kung katabi ni x is 4, divide mo dito ng 4, divide mo rin dito ng 4. Kung anong i-divide mo dito, yun rin ang i-divide mo dyan. So kopyahin mo lang yan siya. So itong mangyari nyan is makancel. Kasi 4 divided by 4 is 1. Or simply cancel it out. Matira is x, 16 divided by 4, that's 4. So we have the same answer. So... For this one, number 4, we're going to solve this. So, we're going to use this first. So, 3x minus 4 plus 4 is equal to x minus 10. Okay. Kailangan natin kunin si x dito. Dito naman, ang material na dapat dito is yung malang x. So, anong i-plus mo kay x para magiging... Para mag zero siya. So, negative reciprocal nyan is negative x. So, mag plus ka rin dito ng negative x. Mag plus ka rin dito ng 4. Naging nag plus ka dito ng 4. So, mag plus ka dito ng 4. Mag plus ka ng negative x dito. Mag plus ka rin ng negative x. So, mangyari nyan. Cancel this out. Magiging 3x minus x or plus negative x is equal to, makancel ito siya, negative 10 plus 4. So, 3 minus 1, that's 2x. 3 plus negative 1, that's 3 minus 1, 2x. Kasi kapag walang number yan, ibig sabihin, my 1 is equal to negative 10 plus 4, that's negative 6. Times 1 half. Times one half. So cancel x is equal to negative six times one divided by two. That's negative three. Again, it is your choice. This is the second step. Depende lang kung ano gagamitin mo ganito or ganitong shortcuts. So three x minus four is equal to x minus ten. So lahat ng mga walang x may x dito. Lahat ng walang x doon sa left, sa right side. So, kopihin yung 3x. Ilipat mo si x, magiging negative x. Ilipat mo si 4, magiging positive 4. Kopihin mo sa negative 10. So, 3 minus 1, that's 2x, is equal to 4 minus 10, that's negative 6. Divide both sides by katabi ng x, si 2. Katabi, divide mo rin dito ng 2 x now is equal to negative 6 divided by 2. That's negative 3. So let's check our answer. 3x minus 4 is equal to x minus 10. So when x is equal to negative 3. So 3 times negative 3 minus 4. It's negative 3 minus 10. So negative 3 times negative times positive 3, that's negative 6 minus 4, which is equal to negative 10. Negative 3 minus 10, that's, ay, sorry, this, we are wrong. Negative 3 times negative 3, that's negative 9. So, that's negative 13. So, negative 3, magiging, a minus magiging plus, negative, ang positive magiging negative, it's negative 3 plus negative 10. That's negative 13. So our answer is correct. So for this one, I will not go into check it. I'm just going to answer it directly. So 20. So again, ang lahat ng walang x, we're going to use this one because this is a lot easier. So ilipat mo yung walang x. So negative 2x, matira na lang dito. Ito, kapag ilipat mo, magiging negative 20. You may not write plus 0 kasi ang answer niya is not negative 20. So, so still, so divide both sides by negative 2, negative 2, 
cancel but the run along is the x is equal to negative 20 divided by 2 that's positive 10 kapag negative 2 negative itong x you still need to divide this by negative negative 1 so that magiging positive kailangan ng positive ang x palagi next for this one ito siya considered siya na one term ito rin considered na one term again kapag may x kailangan nandito na side so x over 2 ilipat mo ito dito itong 4 mananatili siya dyan kasi wala siyang x so 4 this one is negative negative siya so kung ilipat mo doon magiging positive positive 2x over 6 next um add ito siya 6 divided by 2 that's 3 so it times mo yan siya dyan 3x plus 6 divided by 6 times 1 plus 2 times 2 that's 2x is equal to 4 3x times 2x that's 5x over 6 is equal to 4 in this one it's easier if we're going to use the multiplication property of equality reciprocal nito is balik na rin 6 over 5 6 over 5 so we're just going to copy first kasi we're going to do the other other way so magiging cancel na yan siya x is equals to 4 times 6 24 over 5 so that's the value of x itong value na x kapag ilipat mo i-substitute mo ito sila the answer would be the same or equal so another way of solving it other than multiplication dito kasi ginawa natin is multiplication property of equality dito ang gagawin natin is yan ito itong ano, si 6, para kailangan nating alisin si 6 muna, yung denominator. So, i-times mo siya doon sa kabila. So, 5x is equals to 4 times 6. Sorry, kung hindi nyo nakita 24 over 5. So, 5x is equals to 4 times 6. So, 5x is equals to 24. The same process, divide both sides by 5, kasi kailangan natin alisin si 5. X now is equal to 24 over 5. That is the second process. So, thank you.